deliverance and healing are the exact same thing. In fact, you can't separate them. These are two promises we have from Jesus Christ during his earthly ministry that are still promises for you and I as believers today. What doesn't make any sense is that there are Christians and believers that believe that you can be healed, but they don't believe you can be delivered because there's no possible way you can have demons to be delivered from. And what I want to challenge them to look at is how can you be healed without being delivered? And the exact opposite is true. How can you be delivered without being healed? Let's go to scripture on this, but I want to make sure you get that because you can't believe in what you want to believe in the way you want to believe in it, or you're going to block your healing and deliverance. Even if you only want to believe in healing and you want to cherry pick what you want to believe in, there's no way you can get healed without being delivered. Delivered doesn't necessarily mean casting out of spirits, even though in most of scripture, it does mean that. But let me show you something because I have two phones that I'm going to use here. I want to share with you something, and this is from Luke. So we're going to go to Luke twice. And this is in Luke. This is Luke 8, 1 through 2. I have my phone up here. So go and grab your scripture. And I'm going to read every single translation according to the words that each translation is using in regards to Mary Magdalene. So let me go to the King James, which is usually the one that most scholars agree on. So let's go to King James. And it says regarding Mary Magdalene, and it came to pass afterwards that he went through every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. See, that's awesome. Just the kingdom of God uh, and what is included in that. And he says in the 12, his 12 were with him and a certain woman which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Amplified says healed of evil spirits and diseases. New King James says, healed of evil spirits and infirmities. All the way down, every single translation says that Mary Magdalene was healed of evil spirits. Now, if you're like me, you're sitting here thinking, how can you be healed of an evil spirit? Shouldn't the Bible have said Mary Magdalene was delivered from evil spirits in regards to spirits? You know why it doesn't say that? Because healing and deliverance are the same thing. When Mary was delivered from those spirits, the end result was that she was healed from the infirmities that those spirits caused. See, the Bible in every translation did not make a mistake. See, we would have interpreted it to say, Mary Magdalene was delivered from evil spirits, but it doesn't say that. It says she was healed of evil spirits because evil spirits cause infirmities. So in order for her to be healed, she needed to be delivered from the evil spirits that cause those infirmities. See what I'm saying? So in that passage, it equates healing to demons because healing and deliverance work hand in hand. Now let's go to the woman with the issue of blood. This is King James again, Luke 13, 15 through 17. And you gotta love Luke, you know why? Because Luke was a scientist doctor. He had that kind of mind. So you can imagine, right? He had this kind of intellectual mind and he wanted to see if what was proclaimed about Jesus was true. So this man quit his medical practice to go follow the great physician. <laughs> See, sometimes we need to give up our worldly beliefs and intellect so that we can go find the real Jesus. So I think that's very impressive that he left his entire career to say, hey, I'm gonna go see if these things are real. We're reading in Luke 13. It says, the Lord had answered them and said, you hypocrites. So he's talking to the hypocrites, the Pharisees. And he says, ought not this woman with the issue of blood being a daughter of Abraham who Satan has bound be loosed from this infirmity? The other translation says, which Satan has kept bound. The, uh, every single translation, the same thing. 
that shouldn't she, shouldn't she have been set free from this infirmity? Now, why didn't it say healed from this infirmity? In other words, since we're talking about infirmities, wouldn't our mind make out that infirmities need to be healed, not delivered? So why did she need to be loosed from her infirmity? Because of the same thing and same reason of what happened with Mary Magdalene. Mag Magdalene. The woman with the issue of blood needed to be loosed from a spirit in order to be released and healed of the infirmity that the spirit caused. See? So we have to let go so we can let God give us the revelation of his word and show us in all his translations. I think it's fun that I use two phones, one's mine and one's my husband. But here's the whole point. You as a Christian cannot believe in healing without being delivered from, without believing in deliverance because they work hand in hand. Let me put it in simple terms for something you can understand today. When you have been healed, healed of a disease, that means you've been delivered from the symptoms and the diagnosis of that disease. Just like when you've been delivered from the symptoms of a disease, that means you actually now can be healed as a result of being delivered from that disease. This means simply that healing and deliverance are the same thing. So if you are a Christian and a believer and you are believing God for your healing, then you are going to have to believe him that deliverance could be a very vital part of your healing process or it could actually be a hindrance of not knowing what I shared to your healing process. Got it? So I want you to challenge yourself to go look at the examples that I gave you from scripture in all translations. Go put them up side to side and just submit to the truth. It says submit to God. That way we can resist the enemy and he'll flee. Submit means not submit to our intellect, not submit to partial truth, well, I believe God can heal, but I certainly don't believe that I can be tormented by spirits. It's not submitting to your truth. It's not submitting to theology or religiosity. It is reading the Bible, like I did on two phones to show you, and submitting to the entire truth regarding the kingdom of God. So if you need healing and deliverance, which work hand in hand, or deliverance and healing, same exact thing, we are a ministry that you can come to safely to receive more truth in order to set you free. Okay, we'll see you again.